Speed Links and Ovar, their configurable joypad. If you're in the market for one, this is for you. With two analog sticks that have integrated buttons and a D-pad, the Quinox has additional buttons on the back which are programmable with macros that are signable to any multiple profiles using the software provided. Not only can you program all of these buttons on this joypad, but you also configure the analog stick sensitivity and the trigger dead zones. The features of the Quinox gamepad are analog sticks and digital 8-way D-pad maximum precision, ergonomical position left stick for comfortable analog gaming, two analog sticks, two bumpers and ten digital buttons including start and back, two additional shoulder buttons, freely customizable and macro support, four additional buttons on the back, freely customizable and macro support, two button profiles for button assignment and storage, two macro profiles for macro storage, two controls for button programming and settings, practical OLED display, intense vibration effects for realistic gaming and a stunning glow. On the joypad we have a detachable cable and the cable length is nicely braided. This is also 2.4 meters in length and the joypad weighs 205 grams. So not too heavy in the hands when you're playing or gaming. We're about to test the joypad and now we've got it connected all the way to the computer. You do have to download the drivers for the joypad to be recognized so you can play the game. And since I've connected it, it looks really quite nice. It's quite intense. Not too intense where the, RG, well, the LED lights will be very like strong in your gameplay or anything like that. And it's got a little OLED display down there where you've got little functions where you can change and turn the LEDs on and off on the analog sticks or on the actual programmable buttons. It's really quite cool. And um, you can, it's got macros and profile files. I think it's got two macro files and two profile files that you can um, control like your joypad. So when you connect it to other places, it'll already be programmed into the joypad, which is really quite awesome. It's got all these functions, all these buttons and switches, but I doubt I would use all of that. I would only use the buttons that I really need to use on there. But yeah, I'm gonna get on with the game. I'm gonna try Team Raid and see how it performs. This joypad's really nice. Actually playing the games and all the games seem to be very, well, it feels, it feels nice. It feels like you're actually playing an Xbox or a PlayStation. It feels that it's optimized just like on that level. If you go back in time, the joypads back then weren't as good, but this is quite nice. I really liked it. Everything was accurate. The buttons and the button presses are accurate. It feels nice in the hand. You got a nice, um, cable long enough for to obviously connect to the joypad and you've got all these buttons that you can program it to and if you're left-handed right-handed whatever this is going to get you covered anyway if you like these sort of videos give me the thumbs up if not dislike it leave a comment down below and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching i'm going to go back to gaming now